Hey y'all, it's a nutty and uh, I am sitting in the little niche that I've made for myself downstairs and uh, I just wanted to pop on here today and uh, let everybody know I had some good news this morning. Um, they called me and set up my surgery. I'm going to have hip replacement, pandemic allowing, March the 17th, March the 17th. I cried, guys. I was crying. I couldn't understand her. I made her repeat herself a hundred times. It, I really thought the phone call I would be getting from them would just be to let me know that my insurance did not cover the other hospital. But I guess um, the hospitals are starting to uh, feel like they can set up an appointments uh, that maybe things will be uh, better in the spring. So pandemic allowing March the 17th, I am going to have a hip replacement on my left hip. I could not be more happier. When I was at the doctor's office, I weighed 241. I had been losing, trying to lose the weight that I gained October and November from grief eating and the holidays. I mean, come on. It was the holidays too. I'm not going to take away from the holidays, but I was grieving. So I allowed myself way more food and not as much exercise. I allowed myself to slack. So I knew I'd be seeing this doctor. So I started to get a little bit more serious, but not as serious as I could have been. And I only got down to 241. I still qualified for the surgery, but if he told me if I came in, I was borderline, I could go either way. And he told me if I came in and I uh, am over the guidelines, um, not to make another appointment with him. So um, I've been losing and I uh, had a weigh in at 237. Um, you know, the girl doesn't have regular TMIs. And so it really does depend on what day it is when everything is working properly as to what my real weight is. Uh, but this morning it was 239. Uh, so I had been down to 237 after all my binge. Uh, but protein shakes are going to be my friend. Whether I like it or not, I am definitely not going to be borderline when I go back to that doctor for my pre-op examination and all of the things I need to go through. I am definitely going to be well under. And you and I both know sitting here, that at my current weight, with my current skin issues, that it would be better if I were further along. So, I hope I have the willpower to power through the next the next month of trying to lose weight. It wouldn't it be wonderful if I could get down to two hundred and thirty pounds? It'd be perfect if I had not had all the eating and the binging and the chips. <laughs> And the candy, because I made candy and I made cookies and I ate it all. So, anyway, uh, so protein drinks are going to be my friend. I can't hurt my hip any more than it already is hurted. So, I'm going to be working out on the re rebounder when I do my resistance bands. I started it the other day. I'm not really rebounding so much as just keeping my balance with a little bit of ankle movement. Get the heart rate going standing straight because really my back has been bothering me so I'm trying to get back on the bandwagon now that I know that hip replacement is imminent girlfriend's gonna be working out just a little bit more vigorously still ain't gonna be doing nothing crazy like jumping up and down and my feet leaving the pad but I am gonna be working up more of a sweat to build up those back uh, muscles that I'm mm, over instead of sitting up straight so, I just wanted to update you. That's your update. Uh, hip replacement, March the 17th. <sighs> Finally. Be kind to your bodies, guys. And that means getting off that extra weight. Exercising to keep your muscles strong so that, you know, your bones will be strong. Get your calcium in and... You know, do all the things because you don't want to be in this situation. I'm 56, 56, and I'm going to have, to, and I've had to have hip replacement for almost six years and they wouldn't do it because it wasn't bad enough and I was too young and too heavy even then. 
at 50 when I started having real issues with it. So I've been suffering for six years. This last two years has been the worst, especially after that injection. So I'm very looking forward to walking freely without aids of a walker. I don't mind if I'm with a cane. I use a cane anyway because of my vertigo. Um, and my inability to walk in a straight line. But I sure will be glad to only have to use the cane for that. So here's hoping the pandemic um, works with us and let's get this hip replacement done. Yeah, yeah. Peace out guys.